Tara from livingonadime.com. Today I'm going to show you how to whiten your fingernails. So as you can see here, my fingernails are finally long. I am a huge gardener and I haven't gardened hardly at all this year. And so this is the first summer ever that I've had long fingernails. So I've been keeping polish on them. But as you can see here, they've turned yellow from the polish because frankly, I didn't expect them to stay long. So I haven't been using a base coat on them. So I'm going to show you a little trick for getting your fingernails whitened. And I'll be honest, this is a hack that I'm trying myself. I have never, I've never tried this, but I hear that it works really well. So I'm going to give it a try and see what you do is you take peroxide and baking soda. And I forgot my little dish. Let's see. Okay. Well, I'm just going to pour it on the table here because I don't have my dish. You do get it? Yeah. Okay, so mix a little peroxide and your baking soda. Need to finish off the table? No, it won't. It shouldn't. And then you're supposed to set it on your fingernails and let it. So I'm going to skip this one here so we can compare. And then you're supposed to just let it set on your fingernails. So then. Um, we're going to let this set for about two minutes. So Mike, if you want to put the camera up for two minutes while we let this set and I'll answer some questions while we're waiting. Um, I have never tried this. Has anybody tried this? Because I'm curious to see if it actually works. <laughs> I don't know, but it's a hack that I saw and I thought, well, that would be a good one to test to see if it actually works. So that's what I'm trying. But normally, I'll put a base coat on, but I, you know, like I said, I wasn't expecting my fingernails to grow this year. So do we have any comments or questions? Yeah, Sherry says everybody's hearing me just fine. You don't have to repeat my comment. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay. Well, I won't repeat Mike's comments then. Well, I must've improved. <laughs> Let's see. Um, so I'm kind of rubbing it in there. Says she scrubs hers with a toothbrush. So my mom says she scrubs hers with a toothbrush, but I don't know if that would whiten them. And that the method you're trying, she tried, and it works pretty well, especially if you do it a couple days in a row. Oh, so mom said you have to do it a couple of days in a row for it to really work. So we'll see how well this works. Let's see, how are we doing on time? Okay. And Carol says lemon juice works great. Yeah, I could see lemon juice would whiten them, especially if you put lemon juice on and we're sitting out in the sun for a little bit. That would probably work pretty well. And this might be from the other thing, I'm not sure, but Karen says tea bag paper works great. Oh, so Karen said when you break a nail in our other video, I showed how to make um, uh, a fix for your broken fingernail out of toilet paper. And sh who was it, Sharon? Uh, Cheryl. Cheryl says to use a tea bag. Uh, no, it's Karen. Oh, Karen said to use a tea bag um, bag piece cut off. So that would be a good idea. That's a great way to recycle tea bags. You can cut up all these hundreds of little nail things. And Mary Stella says, I guess I'll try that instead of paying extra for the gel tip. Yeah, I wouldn't. I've had one manicure in my life and they did such a horrible job. I never went back again and it peels off literally that night. I have the hardest time because because polish just peels off my fingers and I never can keep it on. Okay, so let's see how it's well, I don't know if that worked or not. Let's see. Stay on the white side. No okay. Close -ups. Yeah, you can do the close up. Okay, yeah, that actually worked. I should probably have left it on a little bit longer. But you can see here, yeah, I think it worked. So here's these two I did. I still have it on here, but these two I did, and this one I didn't. So I think that actually worked pretty well. I mean, I wasn't expecting miracles, but actually that's pretty white. And the baking soda probably scrubs a little bit to help your polish stay on too. So I'm pretty impressed with that hack. Actually, it looks it looks more white in person than it does on the camera. It doesn't look very white on camera. Well, it still looks white, but it looks better. Is that better? Like that if I tip it down? Yeah, it's pretty yeah. yeah, it's pretty white in person. So if you can't see it on camera, it is pretty white. And that's actually a very good hack. So I would say that if you need to whiten your fingernails, make a paste of 
hydrogen peroxide and baking soda and I just used the cheapy regular I didn't use anything fancy and um, put it on there and yeah I'd say it worked pretty good so that's a good hack all right any questions um, well your mom says you need to do it more than one time and it, it, it does look better but that I think she's saying it also looks better after she did it more than once okay so, so mom's on there and she says that it does work if you do it more than once so I mean I would say this I'm satisfied with this that I would paint clear on here that that is um, white enough for me so but yeah I mean if you're really wanting it to get bright you could do that so anything else Aaron and Ann uh, say yes they can see the difference and oh good I'm glad you guys can see the difference yeah because I can really see the difference from here but sometimes the lighting and that makes it kind of strange so and Ann also says she uses peroxide with a q-tip and it works great oh yeah q-tip uh, peroxide with q-tip yeah that's a good idea I could see doing that too so okay well we're going to conclude and then we'll be right back and I'm going to do how I do my manicure so this is Tara with livingonadime.com. Please visit us on our website and like, share, and comment, and give us a thumbs up if you like these videos. Have a great day.